What's up, everyone? It's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks, and today um, is April 7th of 2024. I just got back, for, uh, back from the Bay Area a few hours ago, and I was out there for over a week. Um, uh, we had spring break. I'm a teacher, so I had a week. I actually had 10 days off, and I spent that whole time back home in the Bay Area, and uh, because of that, whenever I'm home, like usual, I end up with some pickups. So uh, basically, I'm just going to show off my pickups, show you what I came back with. I got a little bit of everything, hats, a jersey, shirts, bobbleheads, towels, all type of stuff. So uh, let's start with the, let's start with the non-clothing items. Let's do that. All right. So first off, shout out to my Uncle Peter. Um, if you watch my videos probably heard me talk about him a few times he um does work security at the chase center for the warriors so he is able to um pretty much hook up a lot of warrior stuff so i'll start with the two bobbleheads and then some of the other stuff he got me actually he did get me a shirt so that one i'll show with the clothes so i'll show that one later but the other stuff he got me uh we'll start off with he got me the kavan looney um longboard looney bobblehead and uh, this is actually a Santa Cruz Warriors um, bobblehead, which is Santa Cruz Warriors or the Golden State Warriors. Um, it's the G League, right? I forgot. Did it used to be the G League and now it's a different league or it used now it's the G League? Whatever. Just, I, uh, anyways, you know what I'm talking about. I know they're either, either the G League now or they used to be G League. Whatever the league is, this is the Warriors. Basically, they're minor league, so they're right? Santa Cruz Warriors. So they had a Kavon Looney bobblehead. And it is here, so I'm going to be opening these bobbleheads up with you. And there we go. What the? Oh, thing literally broke off. What the? Well, that kind of sucks. But anyways, I got a Kavon Looney bobblehead. I have a broken surfboard so uh i'll have to get that fixed so what i'm gonna do is put this back in the box and uh i will glue that before i put that back up but i'll do that later so that's there's kevon looney he's back over there all right next we got a captain clay bobblehead which um if you know about clay thompson he does like to ride his boat around the bay so they made a bobblehead of him riding his boat, right? So, see, I like this one better with the uh, plastic, right? I hate when they do the styrofoam middle because it leaves styrofoam everywhere, which is not the best. Now, see, now it's all over me. All right. So there we go. And there we go. We got Clay Thompson right there, riding the boat. Oh, I didn't even realize this is actually a Santa Cruz Warriors giveaway. He's wearing a Golden State Warriors jersey, but if you look on the boat, it's a Santa Cruz Warriors logo. So there he is, and he has one of his trophies right there. There you go. So this one I will put up right now. For now, I'm just going to put it right here. But I'll put him with the rest of the words bobbleheads in a minute. Next bobblehead I got um, was actually from a game I went to this last weekend. Uh, while I was in the Bay, I went to two A's games. And then I went to the um, home opener for the Giants. And then the second game, which was Saturday. Um, so I went to that game as well. So I went to two Giants games, two A's games, and at the Saturday Giants game, which was April, today is the 7th, which means it was April 6th. They had a, a Camilo Duvall bobblehead. So for those of you who don't know, that is the Giants closer. It was actually a um, all-star last year so he did have 39 saves last year and 
earned a bobble hinge. So there you go. It's pretty dope because it has a saves counter. And because it has three digits, I'm assuming they're not talking about for one for the current season. It's for his career. He has 70 in his career, so I'm going to fix that and put this to 70, which it's not trying to change to. There we go. So now we're at 70, so I can keep that. And it has the uh, Gigantes jersey with his chains on so that's kind of dope there you go there you go so this one i got at the game i got there early uh i got there super early and i just walked around the ballpark i actually uh i don't know if you've seen or not but i did drop a video of just the outside of the stadium i had a lot of time so i walked around and pretty much got every inch of the outside of the stadium and i filmed that so there you go. Ended up getting in line and I got my bobblehead. So that one I'll put here too. And then later I'll put it up there where the Giants bobblehead. So there you go. All right. Those are my bobbleheads. Now back to some stuff my Uncle Peter hooked me up with. He gave me a pretty cool notebook. It's a Warriors notebook, which if I'm not mistaken, he told me this would be for the 500th, to celebrate the 500th state, uh, 500th straight sellout, if I'm not mistaken. So they made a cool little notebook, lined paper on the inside. This will definitely be in uh, getting used. I actually have some stuff I need to write down, so I'll probably do that in a minute. Um, he gave me some of the towels that they're giving out. So this is number two of five. So you got a City Connect towel. There you go. One of five, also a City Connect, but it is the uh, yellow version of that towel. So that's one of five. We got four of five. Golden State Warriors. So you go, Golden State Warriors. That was my uh, dryer. Got done washing clothes. There you go, Golden State Warriors. San Francisco, 2023, 2024. That's number four of five. Here's number three of five, which. Uh, I don't know, there's too many jerseys with basketball. I don't remember what, what's called what. I know this is one of their jerseys. Um, styles, I forgot what the title is. Um, I'm not going to try to remember. Anyways, so this tile matches that style jersey. So again, shout out to Uncle Peter. Always hooking it up with some dope stuff. And I do have a shirt I'll be showing from him as well. All right, let's get to some hats. I got two hats while I was out there. Uh, the first one I got at the A's game or one of the A's games I went to, told myself I wouldn't buy any more A's stuff. Um, ever since the announcement of the, uh, the announcement last season when they're officially announcing their goal to move to Vegas. But um, this was a hat that I had a retail authentic version for. I uh, think it was a made in Haiti or Bangladesh or something like that. And they had the team issued versions for... Uh, $30, $30 made in USA, team issued versions. So I got one and that is their Kelly Green alternate hat. So this is a Spencer Patton um, team issued hat from last year. Um, there is the MLB authentic authentication hologram. There you go, 30 bucks. Spencer Patton, there you go. And yeah, this is number 19. There you go. And the main thing, the best are the Made in USA hats. And if you could see, it says Made in USA. So you don't find these retail unless a place has um, some older um, stock still of hats. But lots of times, the only way to get a Made in USA is if it's a uh, team issued a game used. So when they had it for $30, when you can get a retail for 50, that's made in another country that's not made as well, why would you not get the $30 one, right? So I gave that one, my old one to a friend, and I kept, and I bought this one. So there you go. Now that they officially announced now their, their Sacramento plan, this is my last Oakland A's purchase unfortunately but it is what it is but there you go um the other hat i got was a hat that i wasn't crazy about when i saw it originally when i saw it in person it did grow on me 
And that is, uh, I got a game used Giants spring training from this season, 2024. Hat. Um, and this is was a game use hat from one of the Giants hitting coaches, Justin Veeley. So there you go. Uh, it says 66 JV. But um, I, I forgot when I bought it. Um, when I look up the um, authentication, I think you wore a different number. So it, it like literally specified that in the authentication. But that really doesn't matter. Anyways, now the sad thing. Spring training hats and batting practice hats. I've noticed these years, even the team issued ones are not made in USA. So this is made in Laos, right? I hope that's how I said, I hope I said it right. Apologize if I did not. I don't know if you can see it. Made in Laos, there you go. And uh, which sucks because it's like, you would hope it would be made in USA, but unfortunately, I'm really hoping that they don't go with all the hats, even player hats for season, eventually outsourced to out of country because they're just not made the same. They have higher crowns, different sizes. Made in USA is the best way to go, which is, unfortunately, that's changing a lot. So, anyways, but oh, when I saw the hat, I liked it, so I got it. Um, it is used, so it shows a little bit of wear, but not too much. Still enough that it works out. So, I got this. Like I said, I liked it. It's a different material. Don't know if you could see, but I'll probably just do a video on the hat later. I like the patch on the side. You got the cactus. You got the 24. Um, Yeah, I just like it. It's different. You know, it's an orange Giants hat with the black SF logo. So that's dope. I liked it when I saw it. So I got it. There you go. All right. Now the um, shirts and a, and a jersey I got. So um, they had... Um, during the, uh, this series that just ended today, Giants won the series against the Padres two games to one. And again, I went to the home opener and the second game. So I went to two of the three games of that series. They did have a um, opening series shirt, which I got. So there it is at the when I was at the stadium, Oracle Park opening series. Uh, Padres, Giants. There you go. San Francisco, April 2024. It'd be kind of cool if they put the actual dates, but it's fanatic. So what do you expect? Also, I'm going to get flack for this, um, but this shirt to me, just in my opinion, it looks like the shirts that the people sell like outside the stadiums where it's not really an MLB licensed product. And you're probably saying, well, why'd you buy it? Because it was a good memory just to go to the opening series. This is my first opening um, home opener I've ever been to, and I went to two of the three games, so I thought it was cool to get it. Um, so I did. But again, it just kind of looks like to me just the some of the um, fonts and just some of the things about it make it look like the shirts that people sell outside the stadiums that are, you know, that could be nice shirts, but it's sometimes obvious that they're not, you know, MLB issued items or just, you know, people make their own designs. So no offense, but to those people, like they make some cool stuff, but this is fanatics and it's, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like they could have done better. And again, I still bought it, so I'm supporting it, so... It's pretty hypocritical for me to complain, but just saying, just my opinion, just my two cents. It is what it is. Anyways, that's that. All right. Next, we got, this was a shirt um, that my Uncle Peter, like I said, that got me from the Warriors. Um, this is the shirt honoring the coach, um, the Warriors coach who had passed. I, I apologize. I really hope I say the name right. Um, Dion Milojevic, I think that's how you say it. It's... Um, but uh, if you notice, they do have this patch on their jersey. So this is the shirt that they had wore to um, honor him. And um, this word, if I'm not mistaken, it means uh, it means brother in Serbian. Um, so this coach was Serbian. Um, and then his um, nickname, if I'm not mistaken, his nickname, which I don't want to say things wrong. So... Um, I think it's De Deki, I, I think. If it's, you know, if I'm not saying it right, please give me the pronunciation. But so this was a shirt to honor the coach, um, that coach for the Warriors, who unfortunately passed at a very young age. So, um, yeah, they had these shirts that, that they wore and they, I'm um, pretty sure that they gave out. So it's pretty cool that I was able to get one of these shirts. I mean, it's sad they had to make these shirts, obviously, but, you know, so this was something that my Uncle Peter had given me. Um I'm going to go to the last um, sports item I have. And then I have four items that are not sports. 
But um, I have this, I got this team issued 2019 um, batting practice jersey. Now, um, the Giants wore these batting practice jerseys from 2000. My bad, I'm sorry, this chair is so creaky. Um, I don't know, I gotta fix that. Uh, 2017 to 2019, but I know in 2017, 2018, they did wear numbers on, if I'm not mistaken, it was, I'm pretty sure it's the left, left, left sleeve of the jerseys they only they wore numbers here nothing on the back i guess from what i heard um players had requested something lighter so they didn't really care to have names and numbers on the back for bp at least and so that all they did was have their numbers here now i was told from um the um coaches uh, not the coaches the people who work at the game you store at the giant stadium that's where i got it um that it was um 2019 they didn't wear numbers on the jerseys now, I've been trying to find a picture from 2019 of them wearing this, uh, these jerseys. I haven't been able to find one, but I haven't, I'm on Getty Images. I haven't looked through every single picture. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to keep looking and hopefully I find it. Um, if I can't find one of the players wearing these without numbers, I either might just sell it um, possibly or I could send it off. Um, I know someone who does a really good job. Um, I just have them add two numbers on here and I could do, you know, 28 for Posey. Different players, you know, a lot of players, 35 for Crawford or 9 for Bell, you know. There's different players I could choose, and it should be pretty simple because it's just adding literally numbers or a single number, depending on the number, just to one sleeve, and that's it because the back was blank. So I got this. Um, so there you go. Again, I'll probably do a video on this separate and go more in depth. There's the authentication the hologram. There you go. I got that. Now, the last few things I got are not sports related, but so if you're only here for the sports stuff, you could leave if you want. If not, you can stick around. Uh, I went to Shoe Palace. I went to Tanfram Mall. For those of you who know the Bay Area, it's in San Bruno. That mall is dead now, which sucks because um, I used to go there when I was younger. And now it's like every other store is just vacant and there's barely anyone walking around. So I went to Tanfram Mall. They did have Shoe Palace still open. And... Um, Shoe palette. I never really go in shoe. I'm not a big shoe guy. I just get my couple pairs of shoes I like, and that's it. So I went to Shoe Palace, and I was uh, shocked. Not shocked, but I was. It was nice to see they had some pretty cool shirts with their good quality, and the like. Shoe Palace Company shirts or or Shoe Palace. I don't know. They make the shirts. Their names on it at least, so they're involved with it. But so they had some good deals. So I got a couple. So first, I got a Bob Marley shirt who is one of my favorite um, artists, musical artists. So, and the, funny enough, that day when I was at Tanfra Mall, it's because me and my girlfriend took my mom to see the Bob Marley One Love movie. I already We already saw it once in the movie theaters, me and my girl. My mom had it yet, so I took her to see it, and I recommend seeing it if you haven't already. Great movie, I love it. Had no problem watching it the second time, and I will eventually watch it a third time and more. So, you got the Bob Marley... And the flag right there embroidered on the front, really nice. And then we got a picture of him on the back. There you go. So that's one thing I got. Uh, next, I got a Goodfellas shirt, which is a movie me and my brother Ben like a lot. So Goodfellas on the front. And then you got a picture in the back of them at, that, at the restaurant that they like to hang out at. Uh, Henry Hill and Joe Pesci's character, which I'm blanking. I don't know why I can't remember Joe Pesci's name in the movie. I don't know. Anyway, was it Tommy? I don't know. I'm blanking. But anyway, it's Goodfellas. So there you go. Another Shoe Palace shirt. And if you see there, it says Shoe Palace. Just like the Bob Marley shirt. And the last um, shirt I got, one of my favorite movies of all time, which is Scarface. You got the embroidered... Scarface right there. This is the front. And then on the back, you got Scarface in big letters. And of course, one of the most famous scenes right there. Most of you, well, I hope maybe some of you, maybe some of you can't quote that, uh, what he's saying there. So I'm not going to quote it because I'm going to end up sounding stupid. So I'll let you quote it to yourself. But one of the you know famous scenes, his last battle at the end of the movie. Um, and there you go. That's on the back. So that was some dope shoe palace gear. 
Oh, and they also have these for like these 10 bucks, which are kind of cool. Just like a, a, I don't know the exact thing, a sweat sweatshirt or something like that. But it just, you know, zips down a little bit. I have one of these I wear for work, a black one. So this is one though. I like the color. I could probably rock a Giants hat with it. Uh, it's blank, but you know, on a chilly day, I could rock this. Uh, just going out, you know, with like a Giants hat or something. So I got that. It was like, this is 10 bucks, like $9.97 or so, 10 bucks. So she probably said some good deals. And I was able, because of that, I was able to get my brother a free Goodfellas shirt. He loves Goodfellas, so that was cool. So those are all my pickups. I'm trying to think that should be everything. Those are all my pickups from the Bay Area this spring break. Um, yeah, let me know what's, uh, in, what, in your opinion, was the coolest thing I picked up. You let me know. Also, if you have a picture um, of the Giants in 2019 wearing those batting practice jerseys without the numbers, please let me know because I'll be very happy to see that because then I wouldn't have to sell that jersey or do anything to it. I could just keep it and be happy with that purchase. So please let me know. I would love to see that. And yeah, so let me know, please. Um, but that's really it. If, if uh, you like my pickups, give this video a thumbs up. If you thought they were stupid, give it a thumbs down. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thank you. Everyone have a good day. Peace.